In this video, we're covering how to factorize an expression using just a single bracket. Like factorizing the expression 8x squared plus 12x into 4x bracket 2x plus 3. If you already know how to expand brackets, then this is basically the exact opposite, because we're going from the expanded version to the bracketed version. The idea behind factorizing is that you have to find the highest factor that all of the terms in your expression have in common, and then take that common factor out of the expression to be on the outside of a set of brackets. Now, once you get used to it, factorizing can become quite easy, and you can start to skip a few steps. But in this first example, we're going to take it slowly and fully explain everything. So to factorize 8x squared, plus 12x, the first thing we need to do is find the highest common factor of the 8x squared term and the 12x term. The best way to do this is to start with the numbers and then look at any letters one by one. So starting with the 8 and the 12, you might just know off the top of your head that the biggest number that goes into both of them is 4. If you didn't know that though, then you'd have to list out all the factors of each of them and pick the biggest factor that's in both lists. The best way to do this is to find the factor pairs of each. So for 8, the factor pairs are 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. So its factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Then for 12, its factor pairs are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So its factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And then by comparing these two lists, we can see that the biggest number that occurs in both of them is the 4. So that's the highest common factor of 8 and 12. Next, you need to look at the letters and see if there are any common factors in those. This question only has x's in, and we can see that the first term has an x squared, which means x times x, and the second term just has a single x, so 1 times x. This means that the biggest number of x's that they both have in common is just a single x, so the highest common factor here is just x. So at this point, we found that both the 8x squared term and the 12x term of our expression have a factor of 4 in common and a factor of x in common. So putting these together, we can see that the overall common factor must be 4x. Now that we've found the common factor, we need to take it and place it on the outside of a set of empty brackets. Inside the bracket, we need to write the other factors that are needed to make our original terms. So we can start by thinking what do we need to multiply 4x by to get 8x squared? Well, to get from 4 to 8, you would have to multiply it by 2. So we put 2 in our bracket. And to get from x to x squared, you need to multiply it by x. So we put an x in there as well, making our factor inside the bracket 2x. Then we need to do the same thing for our 12x term. To get from 4 to 12, we need to multiply by positive 3. And to get from x to x, we don't need to do anything. So the factor inside the bracket is just plus 3. This means that our overall answer is 4x brackets 2x plus 3. And to check it's right, you can just expand the bracket back out and see if it equals 8x squared plus 12x. So once we've drawn our little arrows to show that we're going to multiply 4x by both the terms inside the bracket, we can do 4x times 2x, which is 8x squared, and 4x times 3, which is 12x. And this is exactly what we started with. So we know that our answer is definitely correct. Now, that example was fairly long-winded, so let's draw a couple more examples, but a bit more quickly. For this first one, we're trying to factorize 9ab 
plus 15b squared. First, we look at the 9 and the 15, and think of the biggest factor that they both have in common, which is a 3. Next, we need to look at the a's, but there's no a term in 15b squared, so we know that there won't be an a in our common factor. If we look at the b's though, we can see that 9ab contains 1b, and 15b squared effectively has 2b's being multiplied together, because 15b squared means 15 times b times b. So both terms have 1b in common, which means that we can add a b to our common factor to make it 3b. Next, we place this 3b on the outside of some empty brackets. And to figure out what's going to go inside the bracket, we need to work out what 3b has to be multiplied by to make 9ab and 15b squared. To make 9ab, we're going to have to times it by 3a. So we write 3a inside our bracket. And to make 15b squared, we need to multiply it by 5b. So we also have to put a plus 5b in our bracket as well giving us a final answer of 3b, brackets 3a plus 5b. For a last example, let's try this one, where we've got three terms instead of two. The technique we use is exactly the same. So the first thing you need to do is find the highest common factor of all the numbers. So of 15, 10, and 20, which is 5. Next, we can move on to the x's, and the highest number of x's that they all have in common is just a single x, so we add that to our 5. Lastly, we can look at the y's, but because the 10x term doesn't have any y's, there can't be any y's in our common factor, so the common factor is just 5x, and we put that outside a set of empty brackets. Then to figure out what we're going to have inside the brackets, we need to see what we'd have to times 5x by to get each of our terms. To get from 5x to 15xy, we'd have to multiply it by 3y. So we put 3y inside our brackets. To get from 5x to 10x, we'd just multiply it by 2. So we put plus 2 in our brackets as well. Then to get from 5x to 20x squared y, we'd have to multiply it by a 4, an x, and a y. So we put plus 4xy in our bracket. And that's it. We fully factorized it. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope that it all made sense. And thanks for watching.